friends how are you doing hope everybody is having a wonderful wonderful day so i'm coming on here to share something with you as we're getting ready to fast on monday today we were at a particular location and right in front of us we saw a vehicle with the name jezebel and, you know, I was looking at it and my, my husband was standing next to the car and we were parked, you know, I was parked. So I was in the car and I'm looking at it, you know, and I'm like, wow, I bind the spirit of Jezebel, cast it out into the abyss, you know. And then Doug began to walk back to, the, to our car and I said, See that? That just the Jezebel car. You know the the, the um the sign on it that said Jezebel. He said, I see it. And I said, You were just asking about that spirit yesterday. So as we are praying and fasting victorious ones, you want to pray against the spirit of Jezebel, Ahab, and Athalia. And I've done some teaching on this already, and I have a book on Amazon with this topic. And so um, I'm going to quickly just go over a few things with you, you know, so we can be engaged going forward. Now, we left that location we were driving, and we were in a different <laughs> part of town, not too far from the location that we were at, but it was the spot. And the same vehicle drove by us. And so to me, I need to pay attention, okay? And so I just put on the whole armor of God and I cover my family, your family, and our possessions with the blood of Jesus. And we pray against Jezebel, Ahab, Athalia. They work together, okay? And so... I'll try to go into a little bit of tea, but you can get the book, or you can subscribe to our pod and such, and you can get more, more information on that. But um, I was looking at different research out there, because there's so many out there about Jezebel. And so, um, let me tell you, one article said that um, the name Jezebel, and I've seen this you know, on the internet, the definition the, the, the for um for Jezebel. I've seen it before, so I'm gonna go ahead and um just quickly go over um a few things. Let me pull that up for you really quickly. Um let me see. Let me see where it is. Okay. One second. just want to um article so this website it says daphne um m-a-d-y-a-r it's daphne madiara's website i don't know i don't know her i know based on different articles that i've read she's not too far off and like i said i've written about this as well and so the name Jezebel means Baal exalts on heaven without cohabitation, without cohabitation and unchaste. Okay, just, just out there. Okay. No, you know, just doing whatever you want. It's a spirit. It could be on a man, it could be a woman. It's just def the definition, the, the meaning of the name. And so this um, website speaks of you know, Jezebel, the spirit hates leaders. And so as leaders, you have to be very careful that Jezebel, the Jezebel spirit doesn't come in and try to destroy what God is blessing you. And you have to cover yourself and ask God to give you discernment of spirits. Not everybody who's smiling your face and speaking tongues and quoting scriptures you know is is of god so be careful and so jezebel 
tries to come after you know your your calling and your influence try to kind of like pollute your anointing so you have to guard your anointing guard yourself if people think that you are being you know overactive it doesn't matter what they think you have to be careful especially on the internet okay and we have an online and online ministry so i know we have to be very careful all right be led by the spirit the spirit i'm telling you and Jezebel, it's it's a witchcraft spirit. Anything that any anything that we try to do um, without God, we're trying to get our will to be done. That's witchcraft. Then you have things in the warlocks that's really out there mixing stuff and casting spells. But um, any of a, any one of us can slip into witchcraft by trying to get our will to be done. That's why we always pray the script God's will. Amen. Being led by the spirit and repenting when we, when we find ourselves, you know, trying to get our own way, you know, we, 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 we're in the flesh and we fall so short of God's glory. Repent. Don't condemn yourself and keep it moving. Long as you cover yourself in the blood, ask God to forgive you. Keep it moving. Romans 8 is your birthright. Amen. And so this spirit is a spirit of jealousy, pride, hatred we know that i'm going to bind these spirits and cast them out into the abyss and release the holy spirit release the fruit of the spirit ask god to send his angels to help you ask for the spirit of humility and love and such so jezebel um a lot of leaders if you're not careful that spirit will come on you will come on you and and you you will, you will want to be praised and you will want you know, God's glory and God is not sharing his glory. So you have to keep yourself humble, especially when you are, you know, you're anointed, you're called. You have to make sure that you're humble, that people don't bit, that pump you all the way up. Even in the book of Revelation, when John began to bow down, you know, in front of the angel, no, get up, you know, don't, don't worship only God, worship only God, amen. And so those of you in authority, like I said, be careful, pray attention. Jezebel hates the truth. Hate God. Jezebel is just who vicious, okay? And it says, um, I'm gonna keep on going. Let me see. Jezebel doesn't forgive. Jezebel will hold wrongs, and the Bible says. Love holds records of wrong. So Jezebel's spirit will have you holding people up in your heart. And yet we've all done it. When we were younger, immature, but now that we know better, you forgive people, let them go. And you move on with your life. And they move on with their lives. You know, you don't have to be friends with people that you forgive. You forgive them and you uh, forgive and move on. Okay? Don't hold them up in your heart. Amen. And I'm telling you, I had to learn this. Over the years, and even even in ministry, when I when I see how people can be so vicious, I've, I've just met some people, and just the way that they treat you, and you can you can be um, hateful and not do what God has called you to do, or you can just forgive, let them go, and keep it moving, okay? And so forgive and move on. Jezebel, it says, um, will stalk you. Try to get information out of you use it against you so be very careful especially, especially on social media to find things to use against you that spirit is just vicious <laughs> okay um the jezebel spirit jezebel people with jezebel spirit they will volunteer for everything just always because they have to be know it all they have to be connected to everything to get information and, and this spirit is known um for hold, withholding information just to be one step ahead of other people, that the spirit would with um will with with and it's manipulation, which is witchcraft. Okay, so witchcraft is when you intimidate, manipulate, and dominate. Jezebel is not into friendship. Jezebel only the spirit wants to use people, use use you for what you have, and then you know keep it moving. All right, so just be very careful of the Jezebel. Spirit. As you're praying, you want to be careful because this prayer will try to break up your marriage. 
You will chat, and and you will be the one. A foolish woman will would, would tear down her own house. A, woman, a foolish man will tear down his or her, you know, tear down his house. If it's a woman, tear down her house. But also, people around you, they open themselves up to the just to tear up your marriage or your ministry or your children. You just be very careful. Ask God for discerning of spirits. Not everybody is for you. Um, so let me see what else. And so another website that I thought was very good. It says 40 signs. 40 signs you are being destroyed by a, Je a Jezebel and religious spirit. I thought this was interesting as well. And this is from, like I said, you can Google it. <laughs> All the articles say, they say the same thing. And then I'm going to give you the scriptures that you, so that you can better understand what I'm talking about. So the Jezebel spirit, it says, they, um, they judge people, but just by the out, the
it says that because of the pride in them, they, they don't treat people right. And then they don't show um, thankfulness and gratitude toward other people or give them credit. Okay. They criticize everything and judge everything based on, you know, the, the flesh is not based on the word of God. Okay. Just critical, like critical religious spirit. Um, and they're, they're, they're thirsty for information. It says they're very religious, super, super Christians. Okay. Proud, won't harm pushy and domineering. You know, you got to watch people like that. Just always coming after you, trying to, trying to, um, push the way in and control you. It's a controlling spirit. Okay. They, they, um, they love confusion and, and will sow seed of discord. Okay. Jezebel, you, you know, you watch the Lifetime movies. Jezebel will be the one would, would, would try to surprise you and, and, and it's, it's inappropriate. Like throwing you a baby shower <laughs> and you had no idea. And you're not friends. And then I'm going to throw you a baby shower, you know, like just inappropriate. Why? Trying, trying to, oh, I'm a good person. I'm going to throw you a baby shower and I'm a good person. And no, mm -mm. It, it's trying to get close to you. It's, a, it's, it's, it's the, the goal is the goal is to, is to destroy you. The goal is to destroy you. There's nothing good. The spirit of Jezebel. And it could be in a man or a woman. It could be in your children. It could be us if we're not careful. We got to bind and cast it out. Into the abyss. They're very, they're very vengeful. They seek revenge. They seek attention. Okay. Um, they know everything. They're perfect. <laughs> They will give you gifts. Be careful of people always giving you gifts. Domination, intimidation. Okay? And so they're not truthful. They're only going to tell you half truths. So watch that spirit. Amen? And it says the Jezebel spirit. super spiritual like I said before everything you know just pretend, pretending to be so spiritual and so godly but they're so evil in their hearts so you want to watch that now you will find about find out a little bit about Jezebel and you can look it up it talks about the spirit of Jezebel it's not, it's not the same person but it's the same spirit it's a wicked demonic spirit the murderous spirit and so you see this spirit at work in 1 Kings 21. Remember Naboth, when, when Ahab, Ahab is married to Jezebel, and Ahab wanted the man's vineyard. The man said no, and so he went home crying like a baby, sulking. And then what did Jezebel say? You know, he, she said in verse um, 7, How you act as a king over Israel? Get up and eat. Cheer up. I'll give, you know, I'll get that vineyard for you. I'll get you the vineyard of Naboth the Jezreelite I will do it for you get up eat don't you worry about it. I got you <laughs> okay and these 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 people with the Jezebel spirit like I said and like the woman be careful too like, these are the ones who we all like to look nice right but I like to look nice and people you like to look nice but the Jezebel spirit you have to be perfect I mean they just you can see them you God will show you God will show you I mean just the outward appearance everything perfect you've seen these before and the Holy Spirit will show you okay I will say no more about that because I don't want anybody to think you know I'm talking about you know anybody but you know you, you will know for yourself the world is saying that we should look Okay, I mean, I, I see it, and I'm like, wow, you know, women in the 
image of God. And God, God, God is calling us to love ourselves. And then so many people <laughs> transforming themselves into other things. And so we have to make sure that we're being led by the spirit and not of the world telling us how we should look. And I think we all know what I'm talking about. Okay. It says this witch, because she's a witch. The spirit is a witch. The witchcraft spirit. She began to write letters in her husband's name, in, a in Ahab's name. And she placed his seal on them. This is verse eight. And then she sent them to the elders and the nobles who lived in 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 Naboth city with you know with him. And in the letter, she began to proclaim a day of fasting. So she, remember, the, the spirit is religious. Um, Jezebel's father, you know, was a was a um what like a a high priest? Was he a high priest? I think he was like a priest or. Let me, let me see. I, I believe. Let, let me let me check because I want to make sure everything I'm saying. Um, let me see. I think he was a um a, 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 a priest of the, the Baal and the Asherah. You know the the the, the, um, the idols. Let me let me check though. Let me make sure. So yeah, her father um was it. Um, Baal of Sidon and let's let's see let's see more about the father mm. okay so he was king of the um, Sidonians or the Phoenicians don't forget that um, he, well, he served Baal okay and they were big into worshipping the um, the Ash historic poles you know if you see a picture of it it's like this 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 um idol with all inappropriate parts on it and stuff and you can google this okay they're worshiping demons okay and um yeah you want to you want to just be careful be careful so this first kings so she proclaimed a fast and then she began to seat naboth in a prominent place among the people and in verse 10, but she said, see two scoundrels, scoundrels at him and have them bring charges that he has cursed both God and the king. Then take him out and stone him to death. See, the spirit wants you dead. You want your marriage dead. You want your children dead. You want your dead. You want your, you know, your ministry. You know what I'm saying? So you have to pray against it. And so when you read the story, Naboth died. She had him killed. Why? Because he refused to break the God, break God's law, and sell these property. All right. So that's one encounter. And then you remember the other encounter where she she threatened to kill the the prophet Elijah. So let's get that verse for you, and you can read that on. I'm just giving you some information so you can go and read for yourself. Okay. So let's open this up. So when you read in First Kings nineteen, you know Ahab told Jezebel all that Elijah had done, how he had killed all the prophets. You remember when he prayed and fire came down and burnt the sacrifice, and then and then um Elijah, you know, all the all the fake prophets, you know, of of Baal and such. And so Jezebel said, listen, so may the gods do to me and more also if I do life as a life as one of them by this time tomorrow. And the prophet ran away, remember, in the wilderness and was suicidal. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a heavy, oh, the spirit, they'll speak words and against you. And if you're not strong in the Lord, you, you, you want to kill yourself. You got to stay prayed up and discern and bind. Spirits cast out into the abyss, and when you do it, pray against Jezebel, Ahab, Bethel. You'll get my book. So why? Pray, pray against those three. Okay, so you can go and read that, and then to find out more about this, like I said, I'm gonna put the link for you to um, the teaching that we've done on this. I just wanted, wanted to give you a little bit. Now, Ahab, the Ahab spirit. 
See how he went home, the king, the man of the house, crying like a baby. It, it, it's a, a rebellious spirit, but it's on the inside. You know, that passive aggressive, <laughs> acting like he's the good one. But no, he's actually the same as Jezebel. They feed off of each other. So I out there, you know, just like let it all hang out there for you to see it. The Ahab one is just as bad, but it's more. Or it's more like an internal form, okay, of um of the Jezebel. Like I said, go on and get the book. As we are fasting and praying, we're gonna pray against the the um the, the spirit of Jezebel, Ahab and Athali. I'm gonna put the link for you to go on and download the Kindle app and download, you know, the um the book okay it's 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 very short short reading okay and father god i thank you for the opportunity father god to show us thank you for showing us what spirit to pray against and so father god right now with the whole armor on the whole armor of god your armor father god i soak myself in the blood i soak my family and our possessions with the blood father i cover all the people who are getting ready to fast and pray with us for our, 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 our marriages, meaning praying for ourselves to get closer to you, praying for our spouse to get closer to you. Even those who are not married, Father God, we need to get closer to they need to get closer to you as well. And Father God, even for our children, we're praying for their future spouse. The name of Jesus, that they will get a godly spouse, God fearing spouse, holy spouse in the name of Jesus equally yoked going in the same direction the direction of righteousness and uprightness and we pray this for our spouse in the name of Jesus and so father God I ask right now that you will loose the dogs of heaven against Jezebel father and devour this evil spirit father Jezebel Abathali I bind and cast them out into the abyss father release your angels, oh God, to fight for, for us, oh God, to help us, help us, oh God, in Jesus, I plead the blood right now, hallelujah, I release the anointing of God to destroy every yoke of Jezebel, every yoke of bondage, Father, right now, I bind, I rebuke, I rebuke and craft spirit, Father, every lust demon, Father, every seduction, uh, intimidation, uh, idolatry, whoredom, Father, fornication, adultery, I bind and cast them out, the perversion, I cast them out into the abyss, in the name of Jesus, I release holiness, I set us free right now, I release the fruit of the spirit, oh God, I release, oh God, uprightness, righteousness, I release obedience upon us, in the name of Jesus Christ, I release humility upon us, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Father God, release the spirit of Jehu ah, in the name of Jesus, God. Release, oh God, the anointing of Jehu, Father, to destroy um, every Athalia, every Jezebel, every air spirit uh, in the name of Jesus. Father, release heaven's armies. Father, heaven's armies, all the armies of heaven to fight our battles, oh God. Father, you fight for us and we stand still, oh God, in in the name of Jesus, Father God, uh, Father, I thank you, oh God, uh, for throwing Isabel, uh, oh God, to be eaten by the dogs of heaven. Um, Father, right now, I rebuke all spirits of false teaching, false prophecy, idolatry, perversion that's linked to Jezebel. I bind and cast into the abyss. Father, I release truth upon us uh, in the name of Jesus. Truth, uh, Jesus, glory to God. Father, I thank you for delivering our spouse, delivering us, our children, oh God, from every spirit of Jezebel, Abathar, oh God, fill us up with the Holy Ghost, Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, I destroy every plot against us, uh, by, by the, oh God, I destroy them, I destroy the plots, I dismantle them, I paralyze them in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. I cut off 
I break God. the powers I crush, I destroy the powers of God. Father, I destroy the curse word, every evil word that's been spoken against our spouse, spoken against us, spoken against our marriages, spoken against our children. I destroy you right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I bless us. We are blessed of the Most High God, whom God has joined together. Let nobody put asunder. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, I thank you for justice in the Supreme Courts of Heaven. The thief has been caught, and he must give us back seven times what he has stolen from us. In the name of Jesus, the curses are broken. The spell is broken. The divorce, separation, destroyed. Every generous, destroyed by the blood of Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God. I, I, I dismantle every attack against the church. I destroy every attack that's coming against the body of Christ. In the name of Jesus, the church is holy. Glory to God. The church is unified. In you, oh God, shalom, 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 shalom. Shalom, shalom. Holiness. Holiness. Hallelujah. Righteousness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord. Father, I thank you for healing the families, oh God, who are fasting God. In the name of Jesus, Lord, heal them, oh God. Heal, oh God. Heal, oh God. Repair and you restore, 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 restore. In the name of Jesus, restore the vineyard riches, the vineyards of their finances, the vineyards of their health, the vineyards of their children, oh God. You the families, Father, with your love, with your love, Father, answer us by fire, release your fire, oh God, purify husbands and wives, purify our children, purify our souls, purify our spirits, renew our minds, oh God, renew us, Father, renew Restore our souls, our minds, our will and emotions. Father God, give us hunger and thirst after righteousness. In the name of Jesus, set the captives free, oh God. Oh, those who have been trapped by the Jezebel, Abathalia, Leviathan. Oh, set them free, oh God. In the name name of Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Free freedom. Oh, freedom. Hallelujah. Be free. Woman, man, children, thou art the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Justice, Father. Reign down your justice uh, rain down oh god uh, hallelujah oh he can families hallelujah remove the dysfunction um, and make them function in you oh god uh, let, let them function in you uh, in the name of jesus hallelujah father protect the children from athalia father god uh, in the name of jesus protect our children uh, hallelujah raise them up oh god to serve in your kingdom. Hallelujah, Father God. Raise up the husbands to be the head of the world. Help the wives to submit to God and to respect their husbands. Father God, give us obedience in the name of Jesus. Help our husbands to love us, oh God, as Christ loved the church, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Let there be order in our homes. Let there be peace, harmony, prosperity, tranquility, wellness, wholeness in our homes, Father. Oh, God, Father, God, begin to wash the marital bed until it is holy. Wash it with the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood. Oh, yes, yes, Two shall be one flesh, one flesh, one flesh. Father, remove anything or anyone that's causing a division in the marriage, in the family. Move them out, oh God. I bind 
in any confusion. I bind you. I bind and cast you out every Delilah. I bind and cast you this in the name of Jesus Christ. And the two shall become one flesh whom God has joined together. Let nobody put a son. Father, I thank you for drawing our families close to you. Hallelujah, Father God. We seek kingdom and your righteousness and all that we need, Father, is added unto us. And I seal this prayer with the blood. I seal our families and our progress with the blood. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Father. Thank you for forgiving. Hallelujah, Father God. I thank you for giving us the certain of spirits to know which spirit we're dealing with, Father, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you for deliverance. Deliverance. Deliverance, oh God. Deliverance. Deliverance, Father, expose everybody around us who's up in the Jezebel spirit. Reveal, Father God. Let the scales fall from our eyes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Show us who we should disconnect from, Father in Jesus, and who we should be connecting to in this hour. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. When the Jezebel spirit is around, you don't want to pray. You don't want to fast. You're heavy, but the spell is broken. You are set free, set free. We are set free, set free. They try to stop this ministry, but they can't do it. Hallelujah. Mm. Thank you, Father God. Hallelujah. Be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor huh? and having done all to stand. Oh, stand on the word of God. Stand on the solid rock. Hallelujah. Oh, God, I worship you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, God, I thank you that Jezebel, Ahab, Bethalia are paralyzed. No longer driving around, no longer roaming around, uh, influencing us, oh God. They're bound and cast out and we are set free in the name of Jesus. The spirit of the sovereign Lord God is upon me. Father God, to set the captives free. Oh, our daughters are free. Sons, they're free. Husbands and wives, you're free indeed. It is jubilee. You shall know the truth and the truth will set you free. His name is Jesus. Lift up your hands and surrender unto him. Surrender your life to Jesus. He is the only way, the only way to the Father. Lift up your hand, hallelujah. Lift up those hands and begin to ask him to come into your life. Ah, yes, Jesus, ah, you are my Lord and Savior. Glory, 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 glory. In the name of Jesus Christ, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Be blessed, victorious ones. We're going to be fasting Monday. I believe that's the 25th, 2020. Yes, Lord, we're going to fast from the time you wake up until 6 p.m. We're going to fast and we're going to pray for God's will to be done in our marriages, in us, in our spouse. And our children. This include everything. Your ministry. Your business. Your finance. Right? Your finances. We're praying for God's will to be done on earth as it is in heaven. Not our will, but thy will be done on earth. We want heaven on earth. In the name of Jesus, we bind every witchcraft. Cast them out into the abyss. And we release the will of God upon us, upon our spouse, upon our children, upon our ministries, upon our businesses, upon our finances. Hallelujah. Not our will, but your will be done, Father God. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Hallelujah. And Father, those who are looking to be married... They want to be married. I pray, Father God, that you would you would answer them like you did for did for Ruth. In the name of Jesus, 
And that's another teaching. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Those of you who have not subscribed to the premium content on our pod, some of you said you haven't even been on there. So maybe it's not for you. But Father God, for those who can benefit from the podcast, I pray that you will send them over there, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And for those of you who want to sow into the ministry, you can do that as well. I'm going to put the link for the book if you want to get that in the name of Jesus. But on Monday, we're going to fast and pray together, together. One can chase a thousand, but the two of us, I'm going to put our our email address, the the ministry's email address for you to um, contact us. Amen. Be blessed, victorious ones.